What's going on guys? Half a day. My name is Ken, AKA American Dad. And in today's video about gears, we're going to destroy a brand new 2020 Shelby GT500 swing. Carbon fiber from Anderson Composites. So just look at how beautiful that carbon fiber texture is on this Anderson Composites GT500 wing. Looks so nice. Looks so, so nice. Guys, a lot of people do carbon fiber, but I gotta tell you, Anderson Composites does a great job I mean, just look at that carbon fiber texture. Just beautiful. Obviously, got a little damaged spot right there. That's where the crack is at. And also this additional crack here on this tip. But it's just a shame that we're going to end up having to destroy this beautiful wing. It really is a work of art. It takes a lot of craftsmanship, a lot of artistic detail in order to create one of these carbon fiber wings. Mm -hmm. Just a shame it was damaged during shipping. All right, so let's get into why I'm destroying this not so bad Anderson Composites GT500 carbon fiber wing. Well, I contacted Anderson Composites uh, trying to figure out what it was gonna take to get this thing replaced. I will tell you, it was not easy. Uh, these wings, they make probably 14, 15 of, 15 of them during the, the month and they probably sell 50 of them. And so uh, what they need is they need proof that you've gotten rid of the bad one. So with that being said, I've got to figure out a way to destroy this wing. So let's determine just some fun ways that we could possibly get rid of this wing. So this is Bear, my 160 pound Rottweiler. And so we're going to give Bear a chance to eat and to destroy this carbon fiber wing. Oh yeah, get it boy. Chew it up, chew it up. That's it, good boy. Oh, good job. That's right. Oh yeah. Good boy. All right, let's see what you got. Eh, that's not bad. All right, that's enough. That's a good job for a dog. All right, keep going. Dad, I'm not done. I'm not done. Whew. All right, I don't want you eating that. All right. So Ken, he weighs 220 pounds. Let's see if he can support his weight. Good. Easy enough. This is the one test where I thought it wouldn't be that bad. You can hear a little bit of cracking. It's probably putting a lot of tension on the, on the carbon fiber itself. So, test one complete. Actually, it's pretty good. And honestly, that cracking might have been like the dirt and stuff that pump. was underneath. So, I'm 220 pounds. Logan here is 230. So let's see how this thing does with 450 pounds and see whether or not it can take our weight. Ooh, it's cracking. 
Ooh, it's cracking. Hold it. well, up pretty good. Not too bad. Is that a crack? Yeah, it's a crack right there. Okay. So with 450 pounds, we got our first little bit of damage right here. There is, I mean, just similar damage to what it was sent with. Uh, a little tiny bit's missing, but so far, still pretty good. Surprising, mm. I mean, 450 bucks. 450 oh. pounds. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, four, yeah, four, yeah. 450 pounds, that was not bad at all. Now there is a little bit of damage back here. That's just from the, uh, from, from all of our weight pushing down on it. So not terrible for 450, but we need to do a little bit more. Yeah, let's do more. Okay, 450 pounds on the spoiler. Minor damage, nothing too crazy. But next, we're bringing a hammer to it. Safety first. I guess carbon fiber isn't hammer proof. <laughs> yeah, you can see right here up top, you can see clear areas that that hammer came through. Uh, they still in one piece, but yeah, that, uh, that did more damage than I thought it would do. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't trying to hit it too hard, just trying to see what it would do. Obviously I was afraid of shards of uh, the the carbon fiber coming up or the the coating at least coming up but actually not that bad now since we have the unique opportunity to see how strong the carbon fiber is uh, on a piece that we aren't putting on our cars a screwdriver let's see what it does okay so a little bit of scratching but from how much i oh actually oh yeah that's a little bit of scratching how much I went, I mean, I can only see one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So not a ton of damage. I mean, carbon fiber's still strong, but still can get scratched. Yeah, pretty durable considering. But what about a box knife? What do you think, boys? Will, will it stand up? Is it durable enough? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Yep, so carbon fiber. Definitely not knife proof. <laughs> well, let's see what kind of flame resistance we can get off of the Anderson Composites carbon fiber Shelby GT500 swing. Here we go. We got bubble blue. Go ahead. It's probably about half of it down. Let's go ahead and light the sticker on fire. Woo! Little flame, little heat. Still going a little bit. Is that the actual carbon fiber on fire? Or? Yeah, the actual carbon fiber is on fire now. It's going to blow it up. <sighs> oh, actually, no, there's still a little bit left. Yeah. Well, let's see what it did. A little warm. Definitely warm doesn't really look like anything. I mean, it's a little bit discolored here and there, but overall still in good condition. Well, next up, taking a drill bit to it. It's the biggest drill bit out there. So, I mean, the small one, I think it would go, go through pretty easy, but let's see what it can do with a larger one. Right through. Clean through. <laughs> so definitely not drill bit proof. Not the least bit. Let's do another one. Drill it again. Let's see if I can do it just with it. I did not expect it to be that easy. Yeah, definitely not drill bit proof. Not in the least bit. What's actually interesting though is you can see the actual pieces of the carbon fiber itself. I don't know if uh, you've ever seen the actual carbon fiber. It's actually fibers of carbon that are all interlaced and you interwoven together. So there it is. This carbon fiber is fibers of carbon. It's awesome. <laughs> now let's see if carbon fiber is sawproof. Okay, hold on real quick. And good. Do you mean, well, here, I'll hold that side over there. Smells like wood. 
Yes. Yeah. So definitely not saw proof. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that's kind of cool. You can see the inner innards of this. I mean, definitely looks a little bit different. I mean, obviously it's hollow, but different seeing the actual inside of carbon fiber part versus just the outside. And once again, you can see there on the edges, the individual carbon fibers. All right, guys, so we know that carbon fiber is not saw proof. Let's see if it's Raptor proof. So it's not raptor proof, at least we don't think so, but let's just make doubly sure. Oh yeah, definitely. You can see that it's starting to separate from itself. It's starting to split apart right here. Yep. I think we're done, and I think I can go ahead and send in this photo and this picture of the wing completely destroyed. What do you think? All right, guys, well, that completes this video about our destruction of this Anderson Composite Shelby GT500 carbon fiber swing. Now, we know that it's not really Rottweiler proof. I wish Bear would would have gotten a little more chews, but I, was, but I wasn't really comfortable with him chewing up all that carbon fiber. Uh, we know it actually took the weight of both myself and Bubba Blue fairly well. 450 pounds worth of weight, pretty good. Uh, we know it's scratch resistant. Uh, it wasn't scratch proof, definitely when we got the box knife out, it definitely was leaving some pretty significant scratches. Definitely not hammer proof. Definitely not drill proof. Not circular saw proof, and finally, not raptor proof. All right guys, well that concludes this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe. I wish absolutely nothing but the best for you and for your families. My name is Ken, AKA American Dad. Have an awesome day.